How do I? Oh, that's good. So I'm just putting my gloves on to get started. I have these three. Let's see. These are going to be the three nail art that we're going to practice. Hi, Janet. How are you? Thank you for being here. I'm trying to get the, um, I'm using my phone and I'm trying to get it, I'm trying to get the camera ready. So these are going to be the three that I'm going to practice over here. This is a rose. And then this one right here. The little dots. Okay. So I thought we could start with, let me see, maybe with this one. A little more simple. Right. So let's begin with this one. And I'm going to tag on the description when I'm done I'm gonna tag these cute little um, tip little tip stands they're adorable so I'm gonna tag the um, the seller when I'm done so then for these here I used OPI this one here let me shake it a little bit this one here and I also used the OPI Alpine Snow and this is going to be I think in pink which I don't know why well it's a pretty color but it keeps selling out on Amazon which is where I got it from but you can definitely check the OPI website Oh, thank you. I'm doing well, too. Thank you, Janet. So, for this one here, I did one coat of the pink. I did one coat of the pink. But we can definitely try to see if it's not too see-through. So, yeah, this one's really pretty. I love this one. Hi, Shirley Ann. Thank you so much for coming and joining us. So right now I'm gonna start here. Let me see if with one coat, 
four with two. Let's see. This is really sheer, but it's so beautiful. I don't mind it being sheer. So, yeah, let's do two coats. Yeah, oh, that's so pretty. Really pretty too on the natural nails. See that? Let's do two. I don't know, maybe because I'm using a nail tip, it's gonna look a little different than how it did on my natural nail. But it's still so pretty. This is one of the, one of those OPI pinks that you, if you can get your hands on it, I would definitely um, buy it to have it in your collection because it's a very pretty pink. So yeah. So I did that and now let me get a nail plate to put on here the Alpine Snow. And if you don't have a dotting tool, which is what I'm gonna use now, this would be your dotting tool. If you don't have one, you can definitely use a toothpick or maybe a pen, a pencil, anything like that. I will give it a try. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of the Alpine Snow. The thing with lacquer is that it's definitely going to dry. So you're gonna do this a few times as you're doing nail art with um, regular polish. It's going to dry up really quickly. So this is the one we're gonna do. And that just has five small petals. So I like to just, not too much pressure. You don't have to just kind of like do it hard. You don't wanna hear that sound. Um, just kind of gently dip it in. And then the same way you're going in with the dotting tool, the same direction. I'm gonna do that same thing on the nail. So. Let's do one here on the side. So we're gonna, instead of doing the five dots, let's do maybe four. So since, since it's on the side, you know, one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to get a little bit of that pink. I'm going to put it here on my palette. I'm going to clean my dotting tool because you see that? You don't want anything on your dotting tool because it's going to get mixed up. So let's clean that up with some acetone. See, I'm going to wipe it clean. Every time I touch it, I want to wipe it clean because I don't want there to be, um, I don't want to be mixing colors together. So then I'm going to do a middle here, right there. So then we're just going to keep going. I'm going to clean my dotting tool again. You're going to do that quite a few times. And then let me switch over to the smaller size. I don't know if you can see it clearly. Maybe you are. Can you see it clearly? Let me know if you can. Because this is our first time. This is our first time going live. So again, I'm going to get a little bit more of the white. It's a big one. You don't have to get that much because you're going to keep um having to get more lacquer so let's go in the middle let's do this in the middle one 
that was a lot of pressure that's not a problem you could just go back in do that wipe it clean and then just keep going we're gonna do five petals one two three I could redo that one and then four five okay so let's do one in the center let's get more pink a little bit more and then I'm just gonna do one in the center you could also get something a little darker let me see if I can get something a little darker so you could see that better can you see that let me see if I can go in. Let's try. This is going to be I quit my day job again with OPI. Let's try to get a darker center for the flower. Yeah, I think that's going to look pretty. So again, I have my dotting tool clean, and I'm just gonna go in the middle, not too much pressure. Of course it happens, but it's okay. Like it just did now, and then again. Now, if that happens where you see that the, the pink just kind of overlaid onto the white, that's okay. What I'll do is that I'll get some more white go back in clean my tool and I'll go back in to the Y so it's not overlapping and I'll just be like this see I'm seeing everything a little blurry so I hope that's not the case on your end so we'll do that and then we'll just repeat everything so again, I'm going to use the smaller end of my dotting tool. And then let's just do five. One. Two. Three. And if you have any questions, you, you can ask me. You can make them a little bigger. There we go. Making it a little bigger here. Let me clean it off. If it's the same color, I don't have to keep wiping it, but... Um, it would be good if you did. That way you don't mix the colors up. Uh, let's see this one. There we go. The color is drying out. That and then I'll get more of the darker pink. Let's see, more of the darker pink. And again, I'm going to put it in the center right here. Again, some of the white, and you're just repeating the process. Um, here it kind of overlapped again, so I'm gonna put the white. And you see that little bubble, that little end on? It's too much pressure, so I'm just gonna go back in. There we go. Let's see, I'm doing good. So I'm going to do one more and then we're going to move on to the next one. So let's do one more of the of the flower with using our dotting tool. But again, if you don't have a dotting tool, that's fine. I started doing it with a toothpick. 
Um, but you could definitely use a toothpick, a pencil, a pen. I would use anything I I had at home already. Um, and everything I'm using, I am going to link after we're done. Um, so if you're interested in anything, um, I'm just going to link it in the description. Okay, let me clean this up and then we're going to use our dark pink again on the palette and pink over here on the center. Thank you everyone for tuning in. It's my first live. Very nerve wracking, but very exciting. So I hope to continue doing these. So if you have, um, if you have any ideas, anything you want to practice with me for this new series, um, just let me know. See, so now we have a little, our little flowers using our dotting tool. This is great practice. So five little petals and then one in the center, which we switched off to a darker pink. So you could see it better there. Okay, so let's move on. This would be this one right here. And then let me clean off the palette. It's really easy. Oh, thank you, Janet. I appreciate it. Thank you. So I'm going to clean this off over here. And I wanted to do the rose. The rose is really easy to do. And you're going to see it now. So let's see. For the rose, I used Essie. Um, I used the Essie brand. Um, I haven't had, let's see. So for Essie, I use, um, Blanc, which is their whitest white. Um, I also used Need a Vacation, which is a really pretty pink. And then I used a green for the leaves, which is going to be Mojito Madness love it really my go-to when I need a good like lighter lighter green that is a great option to use great 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 one so I'm gonna try this one this is a rose I mixed it in with the pink and the white and then I did two little leaves using the um, nail art brush and I did some little shadowing there with the white. So let's try this one. Again, I'm going to be using um, nail tips. And this is definitely two coats, two coats of the pink. And then later, we're going to use our palette. So let's do two coats of the pink. This is a very pretty pink. Again, it's a, it's from Essie, Need a Vacation. Um... I don't know if you've tried it, but it's really nice. Look at that beautiful pink. Very similar to the OPI one, right? Oh, and there we have a little lint. Let me wipe that off. Did I get it? No, I think it's there. Still there, let's wipe it off. Let's wipe it off and try again. So we're going to do two coats again. Beautiful. It's a really pretty pink. Yeah, we're going to need two coats. Beautiful. Two coats are one. It's still very pretty. I'm gonna try to make that rose a little bigger now that I'm looking at it so that you can just see it a little bit better. Very pretty. So 
So yeah, that, I'm gonna keep covering the nail. This is regular polish, the one I'm using right now. I tend to just use regular polish. It's what I have most of. But if you have um, gel at home, it works with anything. So let's do pink. I'm gonna do pink. Then I'm gonna do white. And I'm gonna use my dotting tool to mix this up. Let's see. I'm gonna get a little lint free wipe. These are the best, by the way. These are from OPI and they're lint free. So um, anytime you need to fix anything, take off your nail polish, these are the ones I recommend. So good, so good. Um, again, I'm gonna link everything I'm using in the description just in case um, you're interested. So I'm going to mix these up, these colors. I'm going to mix them. You see that pretty marble it's gonna create? That's what I'm gonna use. So I'm going to I'm going to make the rose a little bit bigger. And you're just gonna kind of glide it on your nail. Let's glide it on top. And that's going to create a very pretty little like marble effect. Again, because I'm using nail lacquer. Because I'm using nail lacquer, it's going to dry very, very quickly. But it's okay because we're going to be using a little bit at a time. So again, I'm going to mix that up. And let's, let's try to do it a little bit bigger than the one I had done before. That way you can see it a little bit more clearly. So don't put too much pressure on it. And let's just keep creating that. It's not gonna be perfectly round because we do want it to look like a rose. But you see that marble effect? Very pretty. So again, pink and white. I don't want to mix it up with the brush. So I'm going to mix it up with my dotting tool and come back to it. I'm just going to keep going around. Let me pick up some of that pink again. So it mixes up nicely. Again, it's not perfectly round because you want to keep that marble look going. I don't want to touch it with my brush because then the white's going to have a little bit of pink, but I'm going to put it a little bit off to the side and then I'm going to mix it up again with my dotting tool and let's get some over here. Yeah, again, I don't want like the perfectly round edges because the rose isn't perfectly round. So if you get that little indent from too much pressure, just it's okay. Yeah. Let me get some in the middle. Doing like a little swirly thing. I think that's good. Should we make it bigger? Maybe a little bit bigger. Let's get some of that white. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Let me get some of that pink. Yeah doesn't have to be perfect I don't like doing things that look too perfect because let's be honest perfection is hard to achieve and you're most likely than not are going to be very disappointed by the outcome so I don't want it to be perfect so 
and just get some of that white off. Yeah. So let's do the leaf. Let me wipe it clean on my little lip free wipe. These are the best. These are the best. So let me get that nice and clean. And now I'm going to use the green for my leaf. Right, it's just gonna give it like a nice little touch. Hi Jonah, how are you? Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. So I'm going to use my nail art brush. Oh, I'm so glad you're okay. Um, I'm going to use this one. So, let me see if you can see it better. Ooh, okay. So here, see how thin that is? Um, let me see if you could see it better like this. So what I do is that I trim my nail art brushes to make it as thin as I need them to be. So I bought these brushes but of course they don't come this thin so again to make it this thin i trim them i go deep down there the very bottom and i trim them to be this thin and it's 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 the best really sorry it's the best for when um you're doing nail art and you want those really thin lines I suggest you trim your brushes just to make them extra thin to just your preference to how you need them to be. So I'm going to dip my brush in there. Not too much. You want to dip and you want to drag. So I'm going to dip it and then I'm going to drag it out just so that I know that it doesn't have too much color. And then let me get close to the camera just so you can see. So. Let me do it this way. I'm gonna go up and down. And then I'm gonna dip it again. And then I'm gonna go here. And then I'm just gonna fill it inside. You can make them as big or as small as you need them to be and then I'm gonna make one more I'm gonna make one more leaf I'm not sure if you're seeing it let me get more polish here clean out my brush because it gets clumpy it gets the um, polish starts to build up so you want to keep it clean so I'm gonna do it again and I'm gonna start. Let me see, let me start from here, there. I'm not sure what that is. And then I'm gonna come down here and up over here. I like to do my outlines first. I don't know if you can see it. I like to do my outlines and then just like how I did here. And then I'll fill it in. Okay. So then now, to give it some depth, I'm going to get some of the white. Clean my brush. You always want to clean your brush. I know it sounds, sounds like a little bit too much. But you want to always keep your brush clean. And then I'm just going to make a few little lines in there where I have oops where I have my leaves I'm gonna get some of the white again I'm gonna dip and then drag and um, give it some more depth and then I'm gonna do the same thing for the top one I think I went in too hard you could always fix that fix it with some green Clean the brush and a 
I just don't want it to be too dark also. There we go. So then this would be your rose. This would be the rose, which is this one here. So pretty. So pretty and very easy to do. If Again, if you don't have a dotting tool like this one, um, really they're not too expensive either. But you don't need it. You could just use a, a toothpick from home. Maybe a pencil, maybe a pen, the tip of a pen. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad you like it. So that's it for the rose. Right? You could do a little one, maybe an accent nail. I love an accent nail, good accent nail. I don't need um, all my fingers to be roses. You could just do one, maybe the pinky. I love a good accent nail um, using the ring finger. So you could definitely do that or do them all. Really, um, it's up to you. So then next, I did these neon um, here. Oh, I'm loving neons. I don't know if you've noticed on my channel, I've been using a lot of neons. They're so beautiful. They're so beautiful. And um, Orly, if you know the brand, Orly, it's a, a regular nail polish. Well, actually, I think they do have gel. Um, but they have, I mean, it's the best neons I've seen or with Orly. If you know any other brand, let me know. Um, if you have any neons that are um pretty you can definitely let us know because i'll give them a try but for now i'm going to use um the orly line for this neon set this pink is just so beautiful this one's neon heat it's so bright so beautiful this doesn't have a top coat so that's why it's looking a little matte but you put a glossy top on this and it's just beautiful it's gorgeous i mean summer even spring i mean i really don't mind i i am not one to judge so wear it whenever you want melt your popsicle this orange beautiful a neon orange it's gorgeous. I love them. And um, again, glow stick. If you've seen my other videos, I use this one a lot too. It's beautiful. Glow stick. It's a yellow, super, super bright. Very, very pretty. I love it. It's beautiful. So let's do this one. I did two coats of the Neon Heat. You can get a new lint free wipe and I was thinking maybe we can let's see what we do because I was thinking maybe the orange just blended in a little bit too much with the pink but that just might be because it's a little matte it doesn't have the glossy top coat but we'll just keep it we'll just keep it it's fine so let's do two coats of this beautiful pink. I love it. It's so pretty. It's beautiful. Even if you do like a little tiny flower using neon, maybe on nude nails even, it'll look very pretty. So let's keep covering up the nail. I did two coats of this. Two coats. Two coats of this right here. Oh, that's so pretty. And you could see while the nail polish is still drying, it's still wet, you could see how it would look with a glossy top coat. Very pretty. 
see because this one's dried and put a, a glossy top coat on that one but you could see the difference if you were to put a glossy top coat right now that the polish is still wet so for this one um for this flower i used the dotting tool and the nail art brush so you're gonna see now how i did that so let's do orange i'm gonna put it over here on my palette and again you're gonna keep putting that in into your palette onto your palette because it's regular nail polish and it's going to dry up very quickly so i'm gonna do the flower a little bit um i'm gonna do it big just so that you have um more of an idea you could see it a little bit more clearly if i do it bigger so i'm going to use a bigger dotting tip for this one so i'm going to do it up in the center remember there's going to be another one down here so i don't want to go too low maybe up here oh that's so beautiful i love a good orange and pink moment so again we're gonna do five one and then two i'm gonna clean it up i may need to add some more three and then two more four and then five up here and then you have your five dots but we're not done what i'm going to do is drag that tip down to the center and it's going to give you a very pretty petal and you're going to see now how i'm going to clean up my nail art brush and then again i'm gonna dip it in and i'm gonna drag it because i don't want it to be too much on my brush so i hope you can see this i'm not sure why i'm seeing it all blurry on my phone but i'm going to make sort of like a v so let's bring it down to the center Dip it in and go back in. And make that V. It looks kind of like a ice cream cone. Let's see. Again. Again, we're practicing. I am not a professional. Did I mention that? Yeah, I'm not a professional. I'm just practicing here with you. So let's just do a V. Let's keep going. I'm gonna turn this around. Isn't that a good advantage? When I'm not doing it on myself, I can't. I can't turn it around if I were to do it on myself. Okay, I'm gonna clean up my brush and then I'm gonna do a V V and I'm going to join it here and then again over here And then again over here. You can kind of, the, the thing about nail art is kind of hard to see um, the end results. It's kind of like trust the process type of thing. So let me see if I turn it this way again i'm gonna i'm going to do the v and 
the V. Let me get some more nail polish. Thank you. I'm so glad you're enjoying this one. Um, and um, thank you for being here. I appreciate your support so much. Thank you. So again, I'm going to take my brush and bring it to the center. I see those little indents that we're gonna fix. So we have it here like this. I know it's a little hard to see because it's the neon pink on neon orange and it's kind of hard to see. Um, it's looking kind of matte too. So since it doesn't have a top coat, I'm going to fill this in a little bit just because I could see like the little indent from again over here. I just don't want the little, do you see that? It's like a little indention. I think it's from the, from the dotting tool. It's too much pressure, which is fine because we could always fix it, which is what I'm doing right now. Um, you see that right there? So I could just fill it up with a little more polish. You see that? And then again over here. Let me fix that corner. So again, you just want to do little V's in the bottom to join everything together. There we go. I'm going to clean my brush. Um, even if I'm not going to keep using it, um, I like to leave it clean. I don't like the polish sitting on it. And then I'm going to do yellow. This neon yellow. It's beautiful. So, so, so pretty. I... Did I recently do that? I did a French manicure with the um, neon yellow. Very pretty, very pretty. Okay, so then I'm going to use the dot again, and I'm going to dip it in over here and make a center dot right here. And you have a neon flower. I'm going to do a second coat right there do you see that so pretty it's perfect for summer I am loving neons and I'm not sure why but I've stuck with orly for neons they just make the most beautiful neons so I have these um, so we made the, the three I'm gonna clean this up. You always wanna keep your tools clean. This is the, if you've seen my Amazon haul for nail products, this is it. This is so pretty. It's a clear glass nail palette. Really an art palette, but you can use it for anything you want. So pretty. So I'm gonna clean that up, clean my brushes. Again, I used the dotting tool today. I used two sizes. This one's a bigger one. You can make them any size you want. And then I also used the um, nail art brush, which I think I have a video of how I trimmed them. But it's definitely not this thin when you purchase them. So I just thinned them out, whichever size I need them to be so we have three looks we have this one right here this neon flower that we just did and then we have the um, pink and white it's so cute you can definitely do this pink with just one um, flower in the corner I love that look I've done it many times with different colors on my channel and it's very pretty and then we have the rose. Let me know which one's your favorite look. Um, which one's your favorite flower. 
which one you're going to be practicing. So these are definitely five petals and one in the center. I think that's that's just enough petals to make it look really pretty. And this one too, five dots. This one's a little hard to see because of the neon. How about if we um, put some of the um, top coat on this one so you can see um, you could see it glossy. Do you want to see, let me share with you my favorite top coat. I, I get a lot of um, questions, like if my nails are gel, and they're definitely not gel because it would, I mean, for my preference and the many times that I do my nails, um, it'll, it'll make it hard to do with gel, but this is my favorite top coat. It leaves my nails so so shiny and um if you're gonna leave them on longer than what i leave them on for i definitely recommend you adding top coat maybe after three days you add it and it'll just ref just give your nails a refresh very very pretty so this is the top coat i use i'm gonna show you on this neon that I had done, how it would look with the top coat. That was a generous amount. Oh, so pretty, I love it. The shine is just perfection. I love it, very, very pretty. And you could see that ne those neons like really pop on the nail so again we have three looks we have the rose we have the neon flower and this one stuck to my glove and then um the one here on the lighter pink and i'm going to leave if you like these um tip nail stands um i'm going to leave the seller's instagram on my description because I think they're just so cute to use and they're not too pricey either you'll be surprised um, these were five a set of five for eighteen dollars so it's not bad so these are the three looks let me know which one's your favorite look which ones you're gonna be practicing and if you want to see um, something else to practice I have some things in mind, but if you have any suggestions, I'd love to know. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here with me. I appreciate your support as always. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here.